Hi guys, my name is Angelo Chiriba and this is Building Africa. So today we are in our, one of our sites in Kikuyu, Kamango area. So we just want to take you through what we're doing here. We are actually doing casting the slab, uh, which has a plinth area of 320 square meters. Come with me as I show you what we're doing here. So we've designed uh, you know, this entrance to, to be a little bit inside for security purposes so that the car can a little bit be hidden. So this will be the entrance gate which will do a boulevard, uh, some nice planters and uh, you know, landscaping that will be interesting into this area. So th this site is actually 300 feet by 70. So it's quite a long site and it has, it, it has very beautiful views because where we have set the house on, uh, just at the top there, uh, it allows us to have access to Ngong Hills. Uh, if you can be able to see Ngong Hills and Suswa Hills, uh, those are the views that we've really, we've really given this house to, for this house to be prime, uh, to have some nice prime views when the owner is uh, you know, consuming it. So this area which we've done partial excavation will be the, the parking slot. So this area we've designed a nice spacious parking which uh, will have some nice steps going, going up there where the house is. Uh, very nice landscaped steps with uh, you know, some nice palm trees. Then have uh, an infinity pool around that area which I'll show you, uh, which will also add to some little amenities that we've put into this development. So before we start this site, we started by uh, clearing the ground. Uh, we, 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 we built a site, site house which has a store and a place for someone to sleep while watching over this site and uh, we used just simple mabatis because it's just a a, a, a small simple uh, uh, you know temporary structure that will be demolished later once we're done with the site and uh, clearing off so guys this is our temporary store where we're storing all the materials that are being used uh, in the batch this cement that you're seeing here will be done, will be completed uh, uh, by the time we're we are done with casting of the slab. Um, so we normally don't actually uh, order excess materials that will remain uh, on site because we try to avoid uh, you know, loss of materials because sometimes there are there are those incidences on site where we normally lose uh, you know a number of materials so, so uh, in most sites we normally recommend uh, installation of uh, online cctv cameras to monitor the day-to-day -day activity of the construction works and also putting of a floodlight uh, automatic floodlight with it on your site to secure your site so this is much more um, uh, uh, um, considered as a method or as a way of curbing loss of materials or purchasing of excess materials that that you may get lost in the moment that you may not put trace on them and then what that does because if you lose the material that you had purchased before uh, your bills gets affected the, the BQ gets gets affected so you end up finding you're having variations why because you're buying materials that you already had uh, on site so buying only what is necessary or what is needed at the at the moment that you're using it that can be uh, can be you know will be completed within the day it is recommended in every site that we're doing maybe i could touch on the size of this lab because somebody may be asking uh, how many trucks of lorries do you need to do a 320 square foot so we we've used 200 cement uh, you know bags of cement uh, and we're using uh, nguvu cement right uh, which also works well with, with us because we've been using it quite quite some time. Then we've used uh, three trucks of uh, dust, you know, quarry dust, yeah. That fine, uh, you know, ile meoshwa, fine quarry dust, yeah. Um, uh, which are 18, 18 tons, and then three trucks of 18, of 18 tons also, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, ballast, yeah, which is a uh, cost aggregate. So. Th that is that is that is quite a, some small you know uh, arithmetics uh, you know a, a direct calculation of the materials that needs to be to, for us to be able to do this slab. So come with me, I show you the slab and what we're doing today here. But I'll be taking you through the processes of this construction until the day we hand over this site to the client, and um, you'll be able to see the end product because this is built in Africa. We design and build and uh, we give you exactly what you want. This house is also an ultra modern house, which has a roof. This house has, it's a six bedroom house, uh, very spacious, it has two lounges, 
It has a master bedroom that is so spacious. It has steam and sauna. It has a theater. It has a gym. It has an open plan kitchen. It has a, a it has an upward terrace, and the the, the living spaces areas are sunken. So it, it has an open plan kitchen with a very big pantry, uh, with a breakfast nook, uh, which is a bar which will be finished up with a very nice granite top uh, that will be you know act as a you know as also as an aesthetic feature in the house. So the staircase also is carved. So the kind of steel that we're doing here, we've done a foundation, a strip foundation uh, with the strip footing and the strip lining. So this house, this I mean this site is steep. So that's one of the challenges because when the materials are coming and if you go down going up here kuna vile unastunya kidogo and you know pigatizi so it's, it's, it's a steep site but a very nice site so maybe we could also show you some of the challenges and some of the leveling that, that we've done with this site because it is steep so we've built our own water tank by the way the reason why we chose to build this water tank because buying 10,000 uh, water tank uh, uh, amounts to 76,000 but we had some stones here and I think 10 bags of cement and we did a 10,000 litre uh, you know water tank at about at a cost of about uh, at a cost of about 8,000 so it will demolish it later but it has also saved us some cost because now we can bring in the other water tanks as we're doing the elevated water tanks because that is what we plan to do uh, to, to cap the water uh, issue with the, with the project. So come with me. Ukiangalia, we are just almost winding up. We've done some nice bars in the columns and the columns we've used a D12 bar uh, uh, with a ring of D8 and then uh, the staircase start at Kindapale Nikonyeshe. We've done We've done the, st the staircase because it's a curved staircase. We've done it D16. If you look at the steel for the staircase, it's, it's heavy. It's a D16 bar. So this gives also strength into the curved area that we're doing. The, this house also has curves because uh, most clients, are, it's like they're really enjoying curves this day and they want to think outside the box. So when we're designing these houses, uh, this house we're designing with the clients specifications in the brief an RFQ from the client so this will be the plinth area actually you can see 320 square meters plinth uh, of slab and it has another level and another final level it has three levels with a terrace uh, uh, up there and a place for water tank because it also has a barbecue area at the top which gives you a view of hills so also we've done a spacing behind here a nice landscape space that will give this house you know a, a enough space to rest so yeah this is uh, the space that we've done and this is built in africa we'll take you through more and more uh, uh, processes of this construction that we're doing but uh, i've been your host angelo i'm the architect of the project also and also the project manager and we have a team on the ground of, uh, of the guys executing the work we have uh, qualified, uh, qualified personnel, qualified masons, qualified uh, foreman, and uh, we are also registered with NCA. And uh, every project that we're doing, we make sure we've submitted it to the authorities, and uh, it goes through the rigorous process of approval process, uh, and uh, then we get to the ground. So can't wait to take you through this journey from the day we hand over this project to the client. So we are all, this house actually the client is, is from diaspora. Uh, one thing we are doing, we are also building for guys in the diaspora who don't have uh, you know, proper or clear places to invest to. So the client came in, you know, got a piece of land. We sat down in our office, discussed the brief, designed, uh, uh, did the approvals and uh, we broke the ground. So we coordinate with the, with the client, we update the client in the, with the project re progress report of a day-to-day -day activity, purchases of materials that are being purchased, and uh, share different local prices of the hardware, as where to buy what, uh, what you need by, 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 uh, in, every level of the, uh, in every level of this uh, foundation stage. So today, guys, we are finishing up uh, doing the foundation in one stage foundation is done next week we'll be starting the screeding so we'll be doing the the wall screeding where now the walling can begin 
uh, all the way to the top. Cheers, guys. So we are building this Kamak Nomwa. Come in here. It's okay, but those are part of the things we, we pass through the site. Unaile inaitango something. Duraku. Duraku is biting. Duraku is biting. <laughs> so.